What's up guys? Let's talk about strapless paintball packs. So by no means is the strapless paintball harness or strapless pack a new thing. The first one that I remember is gonna be the JT Slammer pack that was released in the early 2000s and then Empire released the Empire Fast Pack in the mid to late 2000s. Neither of those really caught on. People did not really like the JT Slammer pack or that Empire Fast Pack. And it wasn't until recently when like Carbon Paintball, Bunker Kings, and HK Army started producing their strapless harnesses that people actually started getting interested in the things. So paintball packs have been around for a very long time. Well, I mean, not like, you know, super long, at least as long as paintball has been around. And they really kind of haven't changed since. They have that pod pocket on the back. You put the pod in there and then pull that strap up, Velcro that strap down, and that strap helps keep that pod secure in there. Getting rid of the straps just makes that whole process just a little bit quicker, makes loading pods quicker and pulling pods out of that pack just ever so slightly faster. Those strapless packs are also really simple and minimal in design. Something that definitely fits today's modern game much more than it did in the past. I'd say within the last like six years, we've seen this high-end tournament paintball get much more serious. Like guys are working out, uh, eating better, and spending a lot of time on and off the field trying to improve their game. So they want equipment that's gonna fit that. They want equipment that's lightweight, uh, quick, durable, and just kind of fitting this more fast, more athletic style game. And some of these strapless packs are doing just that. So I'm gonna cover like the five most popular strapless harnesses, the Bunker King version five Supreme harness, both of the carbon packs, the carbon CC and the carbon SC harnesses, the GI Sports Race 2.0 harness, and the HK Army Zero G pack. So before we get into this Bunker Kings pack and the other harnesses, let's discuss a little bit about how these pods are actually staying in these packs. So we have the Bunker King pack right here, right? And you can see the outer side or the, the outer, I don't know, top part of the actual pod pocket. And on the inside of there, there's a piece of elastic that goes the whole length of the pack. So think about this outer shell part like this. And then there's an elastic piece right here that's sewn right there. And when you shove the pod in, it actually is gonna push this elastic up and then elastic is gonna be tight on that pod and hold that pod in place. That's true for this Bunker King pack. Uh, the HK Army Zero G pack uh, and the GI pack. The carbon ones are a little different. They just kind of like have a big elastic thing that just squeezes the whole pod. First up, the Bunker King version five Supreme Harness. So the things that I really like about these is it holds pods very well, like they're not coming out, whether they're in the main compartments or the little extra holders on the sides. The build quality is very good. All the Bunker King stuff is made really well. Very simple design. There's no adjustments, just typical pack style, right? You just adjust the waist belt and you're good to go. It's also really comfortable. They use some very high quality, comfortable materials. And then the back like pad support area is also really nice. The main thing I don't like about the Supreme Harness is whether it's this new version five or like a three or a four or really all of them is they're a bit heavier than the other strapless packs. They're bulky and they got a little bit more material, but that's also what's like, you know, providing or giving you a little bit more durability. Next up, GI Sports Race 2.0 Harness. So there's two kind of things that I like about the race harness. The ability to adjust how big that pod pocket is and how like small and minimal the pack is. So you can adjust the thing. So it's got two Velcro tabs on the side of that pod pocket that allows you to actually adjust the diameter of the inside of that pocket. So you can make it fit like smaller pods better or bigger pods a little bit better. And then like I said, it's also got that really small, minimal, lightweight design. So the first thing I said was that I liked those adjusters, but at the same time, I don't like the adjusters. I don't think they used enough Velcro. I feel like the Velcro is gonna wear out pretty fast uh, and then possibly not hold those pockets closed and then flap open and then let a pod fall out. Uh, so while I like the adjusters at the same time, I kind of don't. I also found the race harness not to be very comfortable. I don't know, it just doesn't feel that good. It doesn't use as nice of materials as like that Bunker King pack. So the comfort's just, that is nice. I think using those cheaper materials in Bunker King just makes the pack not as like durable and as premium of quality either. So it's not as nice or as good of build quality as the Bunker Kings. Now the Carbon CC Harness. The Carbon CC Harness is actually the cheapest harness that Carbon Paintball make, but it's still $90. So it's still that really high-end price. So in the beginning part of this, I mentioned how paintball players were looking for a more minimal, streamlined, like quicker paintball harness. And the Carbon CC harness is that. It is the smallest, lightest weight, most compact paintball harness on the market. 
So it's really small, but it's using very good materials. Carbon Paintball use easily the best materials out of all the paintball companies. Everything they make is made very, very well. And the Carbon CC harness is also made really well. And it's also holding those pods in there very, very good. Uh, so I used the CC harness for a little bit and the SC harness and had zero problems of pods falling out. The thing that I don't like about the carbon CC harness is really the belt, like the belt that goes around your waist. The material they use in the belt is not very stretchy, so it's kind of hard and not very soft. And I found it was kind of like annoying on my hip bones. Definitely that HK Army and the Bunker King packs are going to be more comfortable than the carbon one. Next up, the carbon SC harness. So the SC harness is going to be nearly identical to the CC harness in every single way, uh, except for like the adjustable lumbar support that the SC harness has. So the CC harness has like regular lumbar support. It has that regular like pad in the back, but the SC harness actually has a pump that's built into the side that allows you to adjust how much air is in that back pad, allowing you to like tweak and like fine tune how the pack fits and how well it supports on your back. But it's still all the things the CC is, right? Like it's lightweight, holds pods well, uh, built super well, but still not as comfortable as the other harness is. And we should say this SC harness is $130, so it's real expensive. <laughs> the HK Army Zero G harness is for sure one of the more popular paintball packs on the market. I think it's really comfortable. So it has really good materials, it's soft, kind of plush everywhere, making it really comfortable kind of everywhere. And like that GI Sports Race Pack, the HK Army Zero G Pack is also adjustable. So those pod pockets actually like slide through the back panel of this pack and then Velcro together. You can actually undo that Velcro and then make that pod pocket a little bit bigger. What's kind of cool about the Zero G Pack is you can take those pod pockets all the way off. So you could have it be like a four pack or maybe you just want to hold two pods. You could remove two of those pouches and then just have a two pack. There's kind of two things I don't like about it. So while I like you can adjust the pod pockets, I don't actually like how they can kind of wear out. Same thing, right? That Velcro can wear out and that pod pocket can actually like fall off the pack. I've seen it happen. But you could just, you know, put new Velcro on. So it's not that huge of a deal. And it is a little bit more bulky than like the carbon packs or that GI pack. Still a little bit smaller than the Bunker King ones, but still a little bit on the bulky side if you're looking for something like really lightweight and streamlined. So those are the five most popular strapless paintball harnesses. A few things that I like and don't like about all of them. Uh, so let's just, you know, kind of rank these things. So before I like jump in and like rank these packs and like tell you which ones I like the most, I'm gonna talk about HK for a sec. So I haven't liked HK Army for, I don't know, really quite a while. Ever since they like started really manufacturing a lot of products. I just didn't like their shtick, right? Like I didn't like their yelling and like loudness and like crazy. And I also think they didn't really make that good of products. But they've kind of toned back on that loudness and craziness. And I think the quality of like their pants and packs and jerseys and really everything has increased quite a bit over the last couple of years. So previously, like, you know, five years ago or whenever the Zero G pack came out, I didn't really like it didn't like HK, and then the quality wasn't as good on those Zero G harnesses. But over the past couple years, the quality on the Zero G pack has gotten quite a bit better. And after like reviewing and like looking at all these things individually, like all the packs by themselves, my change, or like I should say, my opinion on the Zero G pack uh, is better now. Okay, so we're ranking them. Uh, and I'm gonna say number one is the Bunker King Supreme version five harness. So I like these a whole bunch. Uh, they're built really well, super comfortable. My only con is they're a little bit big. Second up, the HK Army Zero G Harness. So I like these, they're comfortable, uh, built fairly well. My only issue is that like pod, like adjuster retention thing. Like I like it, but at the same time, I don't. Third, the Carbon CC Harness. CC Harness, lightweight, super minimal, clean design. Uh, they're just kind of expensive and not the most comfortable thing. And then fourth, big brother to the CC harness, the SC harness. So same thing, right? Uh, built well, quality's good, all that stuff. Just has the addition of that adjustable lumbar support. Con, not the most comfortable thing, and they're $130. And then lastly, the GI Sports Race 2.0 harness. So yeah, not the greatest build quality, uh, not the most comfortable thing. Don't really like the adjustable pod system they have going on there. Uh, but they're not that bad. I mean, this whole thing makes it sound like they're awful, but it's not the worst. The other ones are all just better. 
So that's what I think about these strapless harnesses. I think I would choose the Bunker King ones for myself. I don't need that super streamlined design because I'm not like playing the front all that often. But if you're looking for something really, really simple, definitely would recommend that Carbon CC harness. If you want to pick any of these packs up, guys, it's much, much helpful if you buy them from the Amazon links below. Help support this channel. I get a few bucks every time you buy something, so it's helpful.